Greenock is the gateway to Glasgow, Scotland, but we decided to stay in Greenock. Why? Because Glasgow is 40 minutes away by train. We had a similar travel experience going to Dublin and it was pretty rushed. So we decided to take a break and give Greenock a try. How'd it go? Let's go over some options. I'm Troy and this is the Port Lowdown. Greenock is in South Central Scotland, UK. It's the docking port for cruise ships to Glasgow, 25 miles to the east. It's also 72 miles from Edinburgh. Now, if you're tempted to visit Edinburgh from here, you better have time on your hands. I mean, Glasgow was a bit of a stretch for us that day, and it's closer by 50 miles. Just saying. Greenock itself sits along the wider and deeper portion of the River Clyde, part of a larger region called Inverclyde. You'll see that name around town. It has two main claims to fame, its industrial and shipbuilding past, and the birthplace of James Watt, an inventor who developed the concept of horsepower. The electrical unit of Watt, like your 50 watt light bulb, is named after him. So, how's the port? When we were there, rainy. Fine Scottish weather. As you can see, the gangways here, leading up to the port area, have no cover. So bring an umbrella. And then the rain stopped. Just be ready for unpredictable weather. Just outside the gangway, there are signs suggesting ideas if you haven't planned anything. Shipwreck? Damn, we missed that. The guard station fronts the tour bus parking lot and a tented structure which likely serves as a holding area. Now the town just opened a new cruise terminal building about 50 yards or so away within a month of us docking. The Greenock Ocean Terminal. Gotta say, it's pretty sweet. Lots of seating, helpful tourist guides with lots of documentation for you. Lots. Mostly self-guided walking tours. Expect a warm welcome here. The locals are eager to help, kind and professional. And the bathroom here reminds me of a certain movie. New restaurant too, although it was closed when we were there. Now to get to Glasgow, you have a few options. Take a local bus company who can get you there in about 1 hour 10 minutes. Or walk about 12 minutes to the Greenock Central train station. You could take a taxi or Uber, but walking here is pretty easy. Just look for Ginger the Horse, and it's one block uphill. Bottom line, from stepping off the ship to train platform, allow about 15 minutes not including waiting for the train after getting your tickets from the agent's booth or the kiosk. Signs make it really clear which platform to wait on. So all total, you're looking at about an hour before hitting Glasgow's central station. As far as activities, we opted for a local bus tour. Not really a hop on hop off bus since there's only a few stops. Yeah, it'll dry off, it's fine, it's fine. It turned out to be the simplest and quickest idea, and also a pretty nice trip. You tour for about an hour and a half, going past some interesting sites, like the ship being built, and some beautiful architecture. The highlight here is the view from Lyle Hill, with a sweeping view of the Clyde and the town. By the way, if you're enjoying our trip to Greenock, hit us up with a like. And consider subscribing, we're busy putting out videos every week with port reports, ship tours, and other useful stuff. Help us to grow. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you. After our tour, we decided to wander around town. Here are some things we found you might find useful. The Oak Mall Shopping Center is about a 10 minute walk. And a good place for ATMs, casual and local shopping, and some local food. Of course, we had to sample the meat pies. Once out of the shopping mall, you're right next to the town square, where you can explore the James Watt related sites and the local church. There's also cafes nearby as well. Finally, we wandered down the Esplanade, which is a peaceful and pleasant stroll. You go past a few sites, the old customs house and the art center. While most places were closed that day, it afforded an opportunity to simply sit and enjoy some peace with no one around. In all, we enjoyed our stay here. While it still counts as a jumping off point or a brief rest stop, it's clean and welcoming. We started to love Scotland. Have you been to Greenock? What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments.